Good morning, everyone. It's 10 a.m. here in Norway, uh, early Sunday morning. Uh, just gotten out of bed, actually, and did some adjustments on Etrohub and published a new update. So that's why I'm making this video. I want to talk about some new stuff we've uh, released. So in the last video, I talked about the uh, new meta hub views so that is now complete it is it has been released but at the same time i also went over a lot of the other pages and did some visual updates there is also a lot of bug fixes in this release uh, so first of all if you go on the deck hub i've not now renamed some of these two it's now called user decks to kind of get um, separated from the meta lists so we click on the user decks and you will see this view. If you probably you probably won't notice the difference, like the difference is a little bit subtle. Mm. The table now has white background and we now have a card view up here. And I also this I'm also displaying the archetypes, card stats, and color stats in the side panel. Before this was very hidden, there was a show stat button here that you could click, and I guess nobody used it. <laughs> so we decided to bring it out into the default view. Uh, the interesting thing about this is that it uh, shows the most popular archetypes, the colors, based on your search. So if you click like standard, it will um, filter... Uh, it will use the standard filter and the weekly filter. If I click month, it will swap into what's the most popular things this month. The interesting thing is that like I can search for users like myself. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's click all time, I guess. Uh, so it's filtered on standard, my username and all time. And it only shows mostly my decks. I guess there's nobody that has named a deck after me, so that should be okay. So you can kind of see my preferences that most of my decks are jank. <laughs> uh, you can see that I play a lot of aggro, mostly. Uh, you can see cards I like to play, my color preference. I, yeah, th this is very true. I, I do not like... I do not like to play green a lot, but I guess I, ha I don't... Most my decks that I play in arena are imported. Uh, lately, I've been trying to play a lot of mid range, so I'm I kind of I'm kind of fine with any any archetype really. So this this isn't really true, but it's true for the decks I post. I like I post mostly mono red aggro decks. <laughs> Uh, so that's the update to this view. Another updated view is the deck statistics. Uh, this is a lot better, so too bad I don't have the old one to show. Uh, but it now is... it looks a lot better than before. It's arranged in cards. And I, maybe I can show you that. Maybe if I select Brawl. Yeah. So the problem before was that, like in uh, in cards like this, when you, I only had one control... Uh, like, or I only had one archetype and the other pane had a lot of archetypes, the uh, the size would get skewed so now they are the same and they look a lot more organized uh, so this is up to but it's basically the same information uh, the interesting thing is the new meta hub and the uh, there's also statistics tied to only the meta decks so the statistics statistics here is all the all the user uh, posted decks the content creators and all the users of each hub the statistics here is uh, only for the meta decks, like the, the tournament lists, uh, which cards are the most played, uh, which archetypes are the most popular, and the colors used. Most popular colors, you can see the control blue, blue and white is back. I guess Bofer is happy. <coughs> but the new view here is the meta game view which is a summary of uh, the tournament lists. So this uses the data from the tournament lists and only the tournament lists. And it summarizes which are the most popular decks in the format. And this is made by compar like card comparisons index. So we, we look at all the cards in the decks and look for decks that are similar. So you can see that there are 21 Mono red aggro decks in the meta and 12 Esper control decks, 
seven S per mid range deck. So let's let's click on this mono red uh, deck. This will automatically select the, the the mono red deck from the newest event. Uh, so from Kansas City 2019 by Forrest Wang. Uh, this one that placed uh, between fifth and eighth. The reason we do like 5th to 8th and not the, the exact placement is because it's based on points. So there were uh, decks with the same amount of points between 5th and 8th. So they are kind of dissimilar and there's only they're only separated by tiebreakers. And, and we think that's more correct to use and a better way to display the deck rather than say that, that it, it, it had an 8th place placement. Uh, because you're you're getting into details, and I think th this is a better way to display it. And as you can see, uh, you can see similar tournament decks here, uh, like all the mono red decks re uh, arranged by date. So if you want to see a different variation of of the deck, you can do so here. And we also have similar user posted decks too in the uh, normal deck hub here. Uh, the views are the same as in the public deck, so you can swap between a visual view, a converted mana cost view, or a compact view if you prefer that. And it will also remember your selection by using cookies. Uh, so that's a good thing. And you have some quick export, uh, the quick export buttons here. And you can also open a deck in the traditional deck view, uh, where you can see the mana curve, color breakdown, and all that stuff in more details and also comment, like all of that is not available in the new meta view. Uh, maybe we should make comments, no I don't want to litter it with comments, uh, we just want it to be, uh, and you also have the simulation stuff, where you can simulate like a thousand opening hands, if you guys haven't seen this, this is, this is quite useful, so you can see how a thousand opening hands uses, I'm gonna even select 10,000, Cool thing about this is it doesn't use, it only uses JavaScript, it uses your browser. So if you want to put in a lot of zeros here and try to crash the system, this uh, this doesn't use the backend at all. It's only, you're only crashing your own computer <laughs> or your mobile phone. Uh, so yeah, that is the new views. Uh, very happy with how it came out. Uh, so if you want to look at the Esper decks, you can do so here. I think the similar deck function is quite uh, useful if you if you want another variation. So it probably varies a little bit on how they're built. Yeah, so there's no Liliana in the main board of this deck. So you can try to find your uh, your uh, preferred version or try to to look at other similar decks and build your own version. So there, there, there's also always small small changes. So there, in this one there's no Yugin and there's only Liliana. So that's interesting. Uh, well, other things in this update, uh, we yeah, what did I? There's a lot of changes, so I didn't I didn't write all of them. There's uh, there's uh, some turny bugs. We had some problems with turnies. You can now, uh, yeah, let's do that. If I go into my turnies, uh, you can now edit your uh, turny after. So before, uh, when you've completed the turny, you couldn't edit it. You could only view the results. So it made it possible to edit all turnies. And fix stuff. So uh, because we we, uh, we had a lot of people reporting that people put in the wrong results in the last round and they clicked complete and they couldn't go back. So that's now fixed. Uh, and also a lot of small visual updates too. Like in a public deck, there's now an update to how the top looks. So uh, it's now surrounded by a card. I think that looks better. I'm also looking for... Yeah, and there's also an update to the user view where the table here is uh, now white, has white background. I think I want to go go over and make a white background on all... Uh, all um, uh, here too, I should, I should change this too. Uh, this one I have to... I didn't want to... To change the background color of this because it might have some issues with the folders and stuff. Yeah, so I, I wanted to wait with that and not do that until uh, I had some extra time. Maybe I'll do it today. Um, I have some time to check for bugs. There's always a lot of bug checking going on, and the problem is that a lot of you. 
a lot of you don't report bugs. I think you 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 think that we see everything. We really don't. So what I've done now is if you go into the Discord, Discord at etherhub.com, uh, there's a known issues list now in under the etherhub channels, where we uh, where when you report something like a bug. Uh, I will put it on the known, is known issues and I will put a status on it. We really want to squash all bugs, so keep the site really bug free. So if you see anything wrong in the site, we probably do not know about it, so please report it to us. And I'll put it on the known issues and update the status when it's done. So we want to keep the known issues like uh, free for bugs. Uh, if you have any feedback, uh, leave it in the comments or get in our Discord. And until the next time, I'll uh, have a good day. <laughs>